after quite a slew of factory made instruments it's always nice i've got a ukulele to get back to something that's handmade keep watching Yeah, it's got a ukulele review day. We've been a bit congested with the reviews and videos lately because I've been overrun, but we're back to normal schedule. This is the summary video review as linked below. That's where you'll get more information. And thanks again to those who donate uh, through the website or through the Patreon because that's what keeps this channel moving uh, because I'm not sponsored by the brands. As I say, this is a handmade instrument and it's by a builder I featured before. He's called Kevin Mulcock, who builds under the logo of KM Ukuleles at a bridge end in South Wales. I featured him before with his Dreadnought Concert, an instrument that I liked so much when I had it on loan, I didn't want to send it back, so I bought it. That's never happened before, that's the first time, so that's high praise indeed. And it's now the instrument I play more than anything else. I adore it. Uh, he was trained in part by Pete Howlett, um, and that instrument showed me that he, he's he got a knack for knowing how to put wood together and make it sound really good. Anyone can throw an instrument together, not everyone can make them sound great. Kevin really did with that one. So I was really delighted when he told me that he wanted to let me this one to have a look at. Um, and he visited me a few days back and dropped it off, and when I opened the case he saw the look on my face. It was a big grin. This is the soprano version of his boat paddle and um i just think it's absolutely gorgeous uh yeah it just took my breath away when i opened it it's just funky as you like if it looks familiar to you uh pete howlett designed this and he started making these under the logo of his marmite instruments a few years back um but pete wanted to get out of doing those and he sold the rights to this style and this template to Kevin. So Kevin is now the owner of this and he is releasing these as kind of off the peg, um, more standard instruments because they're a simpler build to make which allows him to offer them at a more competitive price point for people wanting to get on the ladder with a hand -make, handmade builder. Really nice idea. So this one, soprano version, also available in concert and tenor, all solid tone woods obviously. This example is made of all solid cherry wood um and when we come on to the pricing you'll realize that you can have these simpler or more exotic if you want them but this is all solid cherry on the uh, the top back and this sort of slightly curved sides and straight base we will come on to that in a moment i'm really sorry about the light here we've got storm dennis coming in in the uk at the moment it looks awful out there uh, but there we are all solid tone woods finished in this hand rubbed gloss which is really couldn't be further from factory finish it's just but so tactile and nice to hold it's absolutely wonderful flawless build incidentally rosewood slot style bridge with corian straight top saddle not much more to say about that but it's nice to see that it's diminutive and a small little sound hole there up at the top the strap button down here is made of pear wood uh, I did ask Kev, why have you put that there? Because surely people would want to stand it up like you do with the magic fluke flea. And he came back with a couple of perfectly decent reasons. Firstly, you don't mind standing the flea up and it falling over because it's made of plastic. Um, it's indestructible. This is handmade solid wood. You wouldn't want this toppling off your table and then splitting. Secondly, because of the sound hole placement, and this has been a bolt-on neck, he has to drill a hole down here to put a driver right the way through the instrument to attach the neck. Um, he says he's working uh, and possibly can offer this without the button but with a decorative plug in there. I'm quite happy with the button to be honest, I think a lot of people will use it. Um, inside really neat and tidy, cedar back bracing, spruce top bracing, not notched linings because the edges are uncomplicated, they don't need to be. No mess at all, really tidy. There we are, wonderful body. The neck just sort of protrudes perfectly at the top of that shape. This is hand carved from mahogany. Uh, it's a lovely flat profile. I can't quite remember the nut measurements, but they're in the written review below. But it is roomy and it's nice and flat. And I love this sort of carving here that sort of elongates the neck, meaning first position chords. There's nothing to bump against. Really, really flat and comfortable up here. 
That's topped with rosewood fingerboard with a bit of edge shaping, nice grain to it as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen frets down to the body, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah. And the reason um, I said I asked him about the scale of it is because of that thirteenth joint gives it a little bit of extra length so the overall scale here is 13 and three quarters which is bigger than most sopranos although still closer to soprano than it is to concert um all right that's that's interesting too single solitary outward facing uh, fret marker at the seventh and you get the full complement on the side uh the frets are not bound but they're neat and tidy it's a really comfortable neck beyond the nut corian nut headstock faced in shimmery sinker redwood simple i have told kev before i think that's crying out for a logo to go in that space up there but um not as yet and the tuners there are grover for style copies but what he's done is he sends the buttons off to andy miles who makes the nano ukes to shape them down on a lathe to these keystone shapes why a because they look cool but also gives you more space up here um, between them because this is a small skinny headstock and as I said the build everywhere is absolutely impeccable it comes strung with Sigua fluorocarbon fishing line and um, prices they start the soprano start in basic woods at 275 in this cherry wood this is 300 if you wanted something more exotic or more decoration to it you're gonna pay a bit more obviously the concerts and the tenors are a little bit more as well but 300 quid in this spec or 275 as first asking price for something like Sapili. That's a really good price. This is handmade in the UK. This is not made in China. It's made by a builder. Uh, and it's, it is a good step on the ladder of getting, getting onto a, a handmade instrument ticket. Um, it's built really well. It's really, really light. It's really, really nicely balanced. Despite that shape, I find it really comfortable to hold as well, standing up and walking. It just kind of nestles. Uh, it's really comfortable and but the cuteness factor what a stunning looking instrument right let's let's have a play of it because that's what it's all about really isn't it you can tell that I like it First thing, volume. Goodness me. When you hammer it, how, how do you get so much volume out of such a little thing? It, it's so loud. Sustain's pretty good too. And then what I really took from it is the tone. Now, I think possibly something to do with the cherry, but I think mainly to do with the body shape because you've lost that waist. It's fattened out the mids. Uh, in the same way as a pineapple ukulele does or a cigar box. So it's it's richer right across the range. Wow, 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 wow. 
Starting at 275, 300 quid for this one, amazing volume. I, I absolutely adore it. it, it's fantastic. It gets a very highly recommended. It's one of those instruments that you kind of look at and think, I think any ukulele player would probably want to have one of these in the in the collection. Um, I certainly don't want it to go back. Um, I think it's absolutely cracking and well worth your look. If you don't like sopranos, he does concerts, he does tenors, but um, there's something really cutesy about that. It doesn't feel like a soprano to me. It feels kind of like you're playing a concert. Um, absolutely terrific. KM Ukuleles, Boat Paddle Soprano, this one in Cherry, but um, you can have them however you want, really, within reason. Made by Kevin Molcock in the UK. Well well worth a look uh it's fun doing reviews like this right as i say i'm back to normal schedule now uh something really really funky coming next week as well lots on the way um i will see you soon enjoy the rest of your weekend bye bye